Alright, so this is just a quick reels about the Asher Knives Silva and this phenomenon that I've experienced. How did you guys figure this out? And no one else can. Yo, what's good, YouTubes? This is your boy in NYC. It's me, Ray, and this is the EDCC. That is the Everyday City Carry. And let's get down right to it. We are going to be checking out the Asher Knives Silver. Um, this is an episode of Too Many Cuts, by the way, if you guys don't know that. Too Many Cuts is a series of videos where when I have to ship a nice knife off because I've held on to it for too long, I put it in Too Many Cuts. Um, this is only one knife. Do Usually I do multiple knives, but I wanted to do a follow-up on the Asher Knives Silva. You've got an S35EN Titanium Frame Lock Flipper, um, a deep carry clip, and, you know, a good action, man. Like, look at this. You know, at first thought, um, I was like, this is just, looks kind of just like a Kaiser, maybe. But it's got its own flavor to it. Um, but I've been really impressed by this thing. Just the action, the quality, and also, like, how slim it is. That's one other thing. It just feels very slim to carry this. Um, you've got S35EN. Titanium frame lock, deep carry, and it's like $99. I think I saw it for like $98 maybe I want to say. But that's just kind of crazy, isn't it? You know, how come you're getting all these high-end materials for $99? Bucks? It's not, um, there's no weight reduction on the inside, but it's still pretty relatively light. Let me look at my specs here. So it's 3.2 ounces. Um, the pocket clip is stainless steel. The fasteners are stainless steel. You got um, brass caged ball bearings uh, for the pivot or washers. And um, I just like it, man. I, I just really like what they did here. It's a really nice knife for the price. I think my only complaint about it is the pocket clip. If you want to check that out right there. I kind of wish it was up here. I don't know why they chose to do this. Let me show it in this view right there. I don't know why they decided that. I don't know if that was an engineering mistake or a planning mistake, but I feel like it was a missed opportunity to get another high mark on a knife of this caliber already. You know, um, it's definitely a knife that I would recommend, re recommend, recommend, especially for the price. Uh, it's just really good. Um, I don't have any cardboard on me. I wish I freaking did. I thought I did. Uh, but it was just, it, this is just one of those knives recently where I was very impressed with it, man, you know? And I wanted to showcase it one more time. This was sent in by Lefty EDC, of course. And uh, he sent me a bunch of knives, but this is one of them. I'm gonna send this to Jake. Not Jake from State Farm, but Jake from Bearded Gear EDC. And I wanted to just talk about it. Um, this is just one of my favorites right now. Let's do some uh, knives up just so we could do a comparison of it. You know what? Before we do that, let me try to dive into the knives knife a little more, you know, because I'm like kind of rushing right now and I don't have to because it is nighttime and it is on a Sunday. Um, you have barrel spacers, not a back spacer. And you've got your lanyard hole right here. You know, you guys know I prefer the lanyard hole to come out through the back there. And you got this very interesting blade shape, which kind of like gives it piercing power, in my opinion, and slicing power at the same time. Blade stock is thin-ish. Not thin like the Atom or Neutron from TRM, but thin-ish. It kind of does this thing. I don't know if you guys can see that. It kind of like gets thinner there, but thicker here. Um, that is probably one of the only sharp kind of corners, aside from the edge, of course, that you're going to feel on this knife is the top of the blade. You know what I'm saying? But for $99, man, it's going to be really hard to get a knife with all these features. I don't feel any spots on this. You know, even the jimping on the frame lock right there, which you can see, is pretty nice. Where it grabs your thumb just fine. Drop shot for the people. Pretty good. Pretty good. You know, it, it, it grabs onto your thumb just fine, but 
it's not too aggressive maybe i would have liked some jumping up here but i think it's it's it is a little bit slippery on top maybe that's the only thing it doesn't go with the aesthetic of the knife though which is like really clean uh let's do some let's do a knives up just to show you just what size this is uh that's the asher knife silva let's put it next to some stuff that i wouldn't normally put it next to this is the cjrb kicker all right if you can see that right there and let's see what else i got here that's kind of funky let's do ah this is a favorite of course by everyone this is the Wii knife banter and i did a really funny instagram reels for this one I would have spliced it in already if you guys didn't check it out but uh ben ben banter is basically like he would do a podcast with me maybe mid-october early november which i'm really psyched about and let's put in one more the small archeo by dylan mallory and artisan cutlery the copper one i actually did a podcast today with dylan mallory daily carry solutions and russell from artisan cutlery at the same time and dylan mallory and i played apex legends on the ps4 together bro keep an eye out for that footage but that is the knives up for the asher silva this very lovely very capable knife for the price please check this one out shout out to asher knives for making such a good product for a really good price this is your boy in the nyc it's me ray and this is the edcc saying triple yo don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell icon so we can squat up in the comments